racial injustice and, and, and especially abuse on social media is not acceptable whatsoever. Um, I think especially as a football player you, you need to deal with racial abuse on a day-to-day -day basis and I think people don't really understand the impact it can have on, on, on players as well. The social media you know, abuse is um, something that we have to come to an end and that, that's why I, you know, I support what clubs do and I think it's a, it's a good thing for, you know, for people to, to realise how serious it is. The, the abuse that I've received is not on the same kind of the line of Arnie Junior. Um, but it's awful, it's, it's not nice to read, um, it does affect you. Um, you try and kind of put it to the back of your mind, but when it is sometimes relentless, it's hard to. And um, just speaking from personal experience, which it, I can't probably tell you how the other lads feel, because it's another kind of a level of abuse. Um, it's, just, it's just terrible and something that no individual, especially, and no sportsman should receive. What I personally received um, a couple of months back for me was was way over the top, and um, I think everyone in this changing room wants to do well. I think um, no one wants to make mistakes, no one wants to have a bad performance, a bad game. Um, we've all got a million and one reasons to do well, um, so I don't think we should receive the abuse that we we do receive when when a mistake does happen. So in another day, we're still human beings. You know, we just you know, well in my case, you know, play football for a living. Um, you might score against the team or we might, you know, I don't know, like have a bad game, have a good, whatever, um, and you get abuse from it. Um, and the funny thing is, you know, this, it's all easy, you know, behind a keyboard. And like you said, that's probably why the, the media stuff is, is taking place. But, you know, people will never do it in, you know, media in real life and then, you know, say the stuff they say on social media. So that's why I think, you know, this, the, point of their making of out of this is I think it's is it's a good choice um, from all the clubs and that's why as a player um, you know I, I support it and I think it's an important subject to you know just for people out there to realize you know some of the stuff you say and and stuff like that because in the end of the day you know we have families as well um, they're gonna see the abuse we get in you know and um, so you know it's just for I don't think people think about that that look at us as, as these athletes or whatever or whatever it might be it doesn't have to be athletes um, and abuse abuse someone, um, but we ha you have to think there's there's families, all of that. That's you know they're seeing this stuff about you know that son being abused or that don't like whatever it might be. So um, that's why I think this uh, boycott is a is a good choice. It could be the beginning of the end of these platforms if they don't respond, and um, it's that serious that this needs to be really taken into consideration, and it can no longer happen, and people need to take responsibility of what they type uh, and, and what they're thinking and um, if they want to abuse people uh, they, they shouldn't be able to hide. You know you see a lot of profile that's just been made up, no profile picture, no like no like it's just a, an account set up for just abusing people um, so that's why I think for example you know the, you have to put like your address down and your actual name no matter what account you're trying to make because that's gonna put a stopper for it because then you can track people down and you know they can get punished for you know what they they do on social media and i think because social media is such a big platform um i don't think people you know think too much that there's consequ consequences from what you can say um you know you have to be nice to people i don't say you can't criticize people you can of course but there's a difference between criticizing people and you know abusing people i mean you can see in recent weeks the how powerful social media can be in terms of the European Super League and stuff like that. So I think uh, it should be just as as powerful for people to sort of step up and put a stop to all the, all the racism, all the negative abuse which people are suffering from day in, day out. Um, and yeah, 100% uh, companies need to do more. It's not a case of can do more, it, it has to happen because um, I think a lot of people are associating social media with sort of a negative platform now. and and it shouldn't be like that. The more we unite, uh, the more we can, uh, can do together. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough.